Fritz has his balloons up at All Noir and Farah wants them down. Meanwhile, some clown calling himself Tex Johnson has shown up here to demonstrate the latest barrel rolling techniques. He's supposed to be a hotshot flight trainer from HQ, but on his first takeoff, he stalled out and crippled our only spad by slamming it into the mess. What an example. Maybe he's good at outdoor cooking. Faced with a puzzling three-on-three, -three, I knew from my studies that an even challenge could be tricky. It seemed like an awful lot of effort just to get a shot at one lousy balloon. Got into a ruck in what's left of the mess this morning with Tex Johnson. It began when I shouted, Oi, Tex, how about demonstrating a loop the loop into Farrow's quarters? He took the first swing. I ducked and landed a roundhouse to his jaw. I have a feeling Farrow thinks I started the brawl, since he's sending me on a strafing run to the Somme trenches. Not sure if it's a reward or a punishment. The Somme trenches lay before me like rows of open graves dividing the countryside. Even in the air I was struck by the foul odour of the unburied dead. My guns would soon bring more flesh to rot.
Today is Friday the 13th, and we're already having rotten luck. This morning, Tex Johnson spun out on our main landing strip and pancaked one of our refurbished new paws into a barn. Everyone laughed as the chickens climbed out, clucking all over the plane's crushed wings. Tex was humiliated, and for a moment I actually felt bad for him. Four-man patrol over Lille at 0400. Don't want anyone laughing at me, so I have to keep holding my own. Being humiliated like Tex is the worst thing for a pilot. After dying, of course. After an hour of patrolling, we'd yet to sight the enemy, even though Belka had been keeping regular coverage over Immelman's old stomping grounds. I worried they'd find us before we found them. Somebody has got to do something about this madman Belka. Yesterday he got his 35th kill. The pilots he's training are flying better than any we've seen, especially the new kid he's picked as Immelman's successor. Richthofen, I think his name is. Upstart. Tex was supposed to lead today's balloon-busting sortie, but the rest of us want to stay alive, so we're sneaking off to Hearson alone. Gaining on a lone balloon, we couldn't believe that the Germans would send up an observer without cover. Was it a ruse? Or had the cunning Belka simply fallen asleep in his scheming?
Tex Johnson has left for his next teaching assignment. Holy Joe bade him his official farewell as Farrow grumbled, if the imbecile isn't going to destroy the Bosch, let him destroy some other CO's drone. <laughs> as we laughed, Farrow turned our attention to this evening's bridge bombing at San Quentin. Our laughing stopped abruptly when he ordered us to be loaded up in an hour. As I reached San Quentin, I thought how funny it would have been to watch Tex in real action. Would he have bounced his tail skid on one of the bridge towers, or would he have swan-dived into the drink? I figured out what I hate most about northern France. Short summers. Seems like spring just melted away the ice, but this morning I felt a familiar chill in the shower. Hot water is back in short supply, so I'm sure I'm not the only one who felt the cold. We were all grumbling as we checked out our planes. None of us were too happy about this dreary patrol to Combray. With moisture freezing on my upper lip, I looked to the three flying at my side to make sure they saw what I saw. Down below us, an Albatross D2 and a Fokker E3 were rearing for a scrap. We've been hearing a lot more about this Richthofen fellow. Welker must have trained him well, as he's been on a Brit-killing frenzy all month. Farah is offering a week of leave in exchange for Richthofen's flight gear. I think we're all overreacting. He's just some lucky flyer on a hot streak. Probably won't see him today, as I'm off to bomb a train at Aulnoir. But I would like a shot at that leave time. As I dove on Hall Noir, I saw a sign on the side of the train that read, Herr Trenchard, please give your pilots a rest. Too bad I wasn't feeling particularly tired.
can't help but feel grief for the recent German loss. Two days ago, Oswald Belker collided in mid-air with one of his own pilots. A group of us flew over Belker's base last night and respectfully dropped a wreath. It seems almost wrong that we have to bomb a command post on the Somme today. The Germans are mourning the loss of their second great air hero, but the war stops for nothing. Saluting one of our own fallen, I flew quietly alone over a host of memorial services before heading back to the front. There I targeted the designated command post and held my silence as long as I could. The dark months of autumn grow darker. Though the RFC won't release any figures about the losses on the Somme, I noticed a stray document on Farah's desk that says we've lost 800 machines to the Germans 359, with 252 of our pilots in the ground for Germany's 43. Our three-man patrol today at Cambrai will again bring us to face Belka's legacy, the cubs of his Jagster film. My vicars longed for a target as we hovered over the stillness of Combray. It didn't take long before the roar of our engines attracted two D2s with their spandaus blasting a cold-hearted Vilkerman. Now we're bewildered. Though General Trenchard calls the Somme our greatest air success of the war, our airstrikes are being cut back by wing headquarters. In the meantime, this Manfred von Richthofen already has 10 kills. Apparently he's some kind of baron. Well then, baron, we're patrolling your province at Douai today. Come and get us.
The three of us caught a pair of Fokkers off guard and began to close on their tails. Though we had the advantage, we'd surprised them fair and square, so Farah couldn't say anything about our lack of chivalry. Now I know what's bothering Farah. He's angry because he hasn't been awarded the Victoria Cross. If one of us had taken out Immelman or Belka, he'd have made it. Now he needs a new target. I wonder if Richthofen counts. Four-plane escort taking a reconnaissance flight to the Somme this morning. My bet is that the photographs are going to be costly. Whatever our recon plane was after, I hoped it was worth the fight ahead. Two Eindeckers and a Doppeldecker came out of the late afternoon haze with apparent orders to stop all five of us. <laughs> 